What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to show you all how to deck your opponent out using Doll Stall and the supporter Will. This deck utilizes the Floridus here from Forbidden Light and the Wondrous Gift ability, which allows you to flip a coin during your turn. If heads, you can put an item card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Broken ability, fantastic, with Lily's Polka Doll, which is an item card that you can play like a 30 HP Pokemon, except when your opponent knocks it out, they don't take any prize cards. So the goal of the deck is going to be to send up dolls every single turn of the game forever. Now you may say, Andrew, eventually you will flip tails on Wondrous Gift and you will not be able to put a doll on top of your deck. Yes, so we set up multiple Floridges, right? To increase our odds of flipping heads. Now you may say, Andrew, well, eventually you will flip double tail. Sure, in the case of that, we have Will. Will is a supporter card that says the next time you flip any number of coins for the effect of an attack, ability, or trainer card this turn, choose heads or tails for the first coin flip. So Will can guarantee you a doll for the following turn. Now we cannot stream Will every single turn, but we do play three copies of Lusamine in the deck as well as Lieutenant Surge's strategy. So if we go behind on prizes, which we're gonna do because we're a stall deck, we can use Lusamine to bring Will back from the discard pile and use it turn after turn, which creates a very high probability that you we, we will be able to stream dolls every single turn using Floridus. Now, you might also say, well, Andrew, what if your Pokemon get gusted out using boss's orders? Well, thank goodness we have Rabombi here. Rabombi from Lost Thunder with its mysterious buzz ability. Reads, as long as this Pokemon is on your bench, whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to your fairy Pokemon in play, which in essence, means if your opponent tries to play a boss's orders to bring up your Floridus, if you've got Rabombi in play, that supporter does nothing. So your opponent's boss's orders are completely wasted on Cutie Flies, Rabombis, Floridus, all of that. Now we do have some non-fairy Pokemon in the deck. Jirachi Stellar Wish obviously helps us to set up our board, helps us find our rare candies, quick balls, Pokemon communications to get our Floridus into play. So it's very useful for that. We also have Zacian V, whose intrepid sword ability is essential for churning through the deck during the early turns of the game to help us set up our board position. Also great for helping to survive incoming Marnies. Marnies are very tough to play around. Zacian V helps alleviate that pressure a little bit. We've also got Mew with the Bench Barrier ability, which is great against Baby Blacephalon. They usually play Cramorant, but they don't play Boss's Orders. So you can put the Mew down to prevent that Cramorant's Spit Shot attack without really having to worry about the Mew eventually going down. Speaking of Mew, any sort of damage counters placed can be a huge problem for this deck. So we do play two copies of Sky Pillar. Sky Pillar prevents all effects of opponent's attacks, including damage done to bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. So with Sky Pillar in play, Mew's Psy Power is not going to be placing any damage counters. Dragon Ball VMAX's Max Phantom is not going to be placing any damage counters, anything like that. So Sky Pillar completely protects your bench from any sort of damage counters placed, which is fantastic. And we've got, like I said, three copies of Lusamine, so we can make sure that we bring those sky pillars back into play meaning that we have an opportunity to win the stadium war stealthy hood is also really good in this deck if you happen to encounter a nine tails from team up with the nine temptations ability you can use stealthy hood is it from team up yes nine tails from team up stealthy hood prevents that gusting from the nine temptations ability it also prevents the shining vine ability on snivy and venusaur tag team gx it also prevents obstagoon obstagoon would be a huge problem if it was sniping with its ability onto your pretty low hp pokemon every single turn so the stealthy hoods can help prevent those annoying abilities from affecting your benched fairy pokemon and then we do have the one copy of belalba and bryson man usually we're just going to be promoting dolls and hoping that our opponent kind of like you know mills through their own deck trying to take out the dolls a little bit and then you just use the belalba and bryson man to kind of push them over the edge my original list did have like three copies of Belelba and Bryson Man, but then I realized eventually you're going to flip too many tails with Floridus and just lose the game, which is when we put Will in the deck, 
When we put Will in the deck, the deck got way better. So I really do like the inclusion of Will. And really, one Bilalba and Bryson Man is usually enough. I also used to play a lot more scoop up nets, but I realized I didn't really need too many scoop up nets, just one scoop up net to be able to pick up your Jirachi to kind of uh, be able to manipulate how many prizes your opponent can take can be very solid. So I do really like the one copy of scoop up net in here. Pal Pad is great for support, uh, for throwing your supporters back into the deck, especially if you're about to get Marnied, or if you know that your opponent plays Marnie, using Pal Pad just to put cards like Steven's Resolve or Professor's Research back into the other side of your deck. It's very good so that when you do get Marnie, you put your good hand that you're working on constructing onto the bottom of the deck, you at least get into some good cards that you can pal pad back in. So I really do like that as well. And the Wobbuffet is here to prevent Victini Prism Star from constantly refilling his deck with fire energy. So you definitely need the Wobbuffet to have any chance against a Firefox deck. And you can put a stealthy hood on it to make sure it doesn't get gusted up. And uh, yeah, that's the Doll Stall deck. Check it out in some gameplay. And let me know what you think in the comments below, even if you hate it. Looks like I'm going to be going first in this game, playing against 1-1-1, And we got a decent opening hand, even though we do open Zacian. That's fine. We've got uh, a lot of other search cards in our hand, as well as the Stevens Resolve we can play on the next turn. So I'm totally cool with that. We're just going to get the Lucimine into the discard pile, get ourselves a Cutie Fly. And then we are also going to, I think get the scoop up net out of here though that is a very good card for us and get a babe out of the deck onto the bench and intrepid sword so solid turn one there we've got the rare candy into floor just turn two with the stevens resolve so that's a fantastic start for us we'll have to see what it is that my opponent is playing though it looks like it could be zashian stuff maybe i'm not exactly sure opening with the pokemon communication and it is a dragapult deck so that's fine. This is the Dragapults where you have to uh, flip in order to attack. And it also, uh, you, have, you have to flip in order to attack it. But then it also does spread damage. So we do have to look out for that. The spread damage could be kind of gnarly on our bench Pokemon. Unfortunately, it only places three damage counters on the bench at a time which can be stopped by our Sky Pillars. And we do play two copies of Sky Pillar and Loose Mean, so hopefully we can bring those back turn after turn. Now, it looks like, yeah, they're going to use the Whirlpool Suction there, bring a Pokemon into the active position. They can just have that Lily's Poke Doll. It's totally fine. And then we've got Rare Candy in the floor, just Steven's Resolve. Go get ourselves the other Pokemon that we need in order to set up our win condition. So let's just do that. And then I'm fine with this state right here. Steven's Resolve, go get ourselves the Rebombi. Um, we also are going to want Sk Sky Pillar uh, at a point. I'm not sure how many stadiums that they play. And we're going to also want a research to just draw into our deck. So we want to get the stadium down just to kind of assert assert the sky pillar and then we can start loose meaning for it back every time it gets countered the problem is going to arise if they also play chaotic swell chaotic swell is really tough for the sky pillars to get through and i think all stall decks are kind of in this bind right now where it's like you got no way to protect against the bench damage counters being placed by either dragapult v max or uh, baby Dragapult here, you know, stopping those damage counters from being placed is really tough. And, uh, you know, Chaotic Swell makes it nearly impossible. We've got both of those things down now. Totally fine. Rabambi. And we're just going to research into the thick of our deck. Seeing what else we can find. I definitely want to get ourselves another Babe into play. So we're just going to go get the Beeb right there. And... We've got a nice look in hand here, I have to say. Uh, Floor just could potentially stack something. I actually really do want to stack a Pokemon Communication so that I can rare candy and evolve that Flababy into a, a nice big Floor just next turn. But we're definitely setting up swimmingly here. Multiple dolls out in play. Now, with this deck, you assume that the Zacian is going to get knocked out. We know that it's part of the deal. Zacian's going down. It's just here to kind of help us draw through and then eventually you know when they do take a prize 
then uh, we will be able to use Lieutenant Surge. So really we want them to knock out the Zacian sooner rather than later so that we can start using Lieutenant Surge and turning through our deck that way. At this point though, my hand is not incredibly strong. It's good that I have you know the other Florages that we can set up, but other than that, you know, I would like to see a research or a Steamers Resolve or something so that we can continue setting up our win condition. Also, this card. Yeah, I didn't talk about this. Mew from Unbroken Bonds. We need the Sky Pillars just so that we can stop Mew's Psy Power. They can place three damage counters every single turn with Psy Power just on my board wherever they want. The Sky Pillar does stop that, so that's going to be very strong for us. We'll go trade the Jirachi into the deck, get ourselves... Florges. Now we've got two of them. It's great. And I'm just going to go ahead, toss that Balelba. Might as well. We've got it. And just Intrepid Sword, see, is there anything else that I want to put on top of the deck? Scoop up net could be good. If I, But I, I think at this point I would rather draw into just stronger cards. So yeah, the Steam's Resolve is what, exactly what we want. So then we can go get ourselves the Lusamine and make sure that we can recycle these Sky Pillars every turn so that we don't get our Pokemon just KO'd. Now Phantom Force plays three damage counters on my opponent's bench Pokemon any way they like. So that is what we are worried about. They do also play the Resetting Hole Marshadow. So that is a counter to the stadium that we're going to have to worry about. They're probably going to resetting hole and then place three damage counters. We don't love that, um, which, is, uh, which is not great, but it's okay. They can also, if they get rid of the Sky Pillar, they can just knock out two dolls at a time, which is a little bit stressful as well. And they do have Marnie. So they're just going to reshuffle my hand through. And we do not find any sort of Lusamine. We really want Lusamine so that we can start bringing the stadium back. And it looks like they're just slow and steady wins the race. They're not really, you know, going in with any sort of attack or anything like that. I'm fine with that. It's fine. Uh, we are just trying to thin our deck as much as we can at this point. So I'm going to get, you know, the Pokemon communication out of my deck. I don't want to draw back into that. We're going to put the Stealthy Hood down onto some of our Pokemon and then... We're just going to Intrepid Sword again, and I don't want to put anything on top of my deck. They haven't taken a prize yet. There's our Lusamine, finally, which is very good. Lusamine means that I can instantly get the Sky Pillar back. This might be their only option to counter a stadium in their deck. We're kind of hoping that it is. Uh, they probably do play an Ordinary Rod, so I'm going to have to stay on top of the stadium situation, make sure that that does not get under, you know, out of control. But uh, here comes the Phantom Force. And we'll see if they decide to use the Marsh out of there. Yeah, Resetting Hole, get the Sky Pillar out of there. It's fine. And do they take out both dolls, or do they start going in on poor little Rabambi over here? Or maybe they start softening up Z-Money Zashian in the corner. It's uh, That is always a possibility. All right, Phantom Force. And they've got... Three damage counters going on to Rubambi. All right, they want to take out the Rubambi. I do not want them to do that. So we're going to see what we can do to stop it. And at this point, yeah, Lusamine for sure. We want the Stadium back and just another Lusamine back so we can keep pulling cards out of the discard pile. Put that immediately there and see if we can flip getting any of these dolls back. We cannot, which is unfortunate. And I think that we just retreat into... Our doll here and Intrepid Sword. Yeah, just see some more cards. It's fine. And we still deny a prize. Find another doll there off the top. And then hopefully that Sky Pillar sticks for a little while. Now, that being said, they also have not taken a prize yet. I do kind of need them to take a prize so that I can really start utilizing the Lieutenant Surge. So at a certain point, once I'm kind of confident that I think the Sky Pillars are going to stick. I might just feed them the Zacian, or I might just feed them, um, they're just gonna bring up the Zacian. That's fine with me, because then I get to put this other doll down, and it's going to unlock the ability here to utilize that Lieutenant Surge, which is what we really want to do. So I'm not terribly worried about that. 
and we are only 14 cards left in our deck, which is good. We're going to really be able to kind of take control here. Now we want to see if we can't yeah, put any more dolls back into the deck. We cannot. That's fine. And we've got Lusamine. And I can Lusamine for research back at this point. It seems fine, honestly. They're going to take this knockout. I think I just thin the deck. Yeah, thin, thin, thin. Get all this stuff out. We've got Lieutenant Surge and Lusamine still in the deck. Palpad and a doll still at large. So I think yeah, we're just going to thin this stuff out just in case we get Marnied again. I don't actually want to draw into this stuff. So we're just thinning, thinning, thinning. And then we could go Steven's Resolve. Uh, get ourselves some good cards back. Or just go Lusamine. Lusamine's fine. I want to get the Belelba and another Lusamine out of the discard pile. And then we're just going to Intrepid Sword. So I like that. Grow my hand size again. And now we have the Lieutenant Surge strategy for next turn. And we're going to start to attack the resources a little bit. So long as we've got Lusamine, Surge, and Bryson Man. That's kind and will. That's like the four card combo we want to have at the end of the game with this board setup. Because we're just going to, and you want to have a Lusamine in the discard pile. So you're just going to like Lusamine loop and get your, your dudes back uh, every single turn. You're going to Lusamine, you're going to keep getting back Lusamine and one other card. And it's usually going to be, you know, Lusamine and Belelba or Lusamine and Will, uh, depending on what the situation is. But here is the lock. So. See what we can do. We got Surge. We've got Belelba. So let's just go ahead and do that. Discard the top three. And then we can flip this one. And we're going to put a doll back on top of the deck, which is totally fine. And we've got another doll right here. And we just Lusamine. And we're going to bring the Belelba and the Lusamine back from the discard pile. And then next turn, since we're so far ahead on like the doll situation at this point, we can take kind of a bonus turn to just, you know, loosen me back a couple of times. We don't have to worry about flipping heads on these floor just because we have all four dolls in the deck. And we, ah, they do have the swell. They do. All right. That certainly has made this more challenging. So now they have an opportunity to knock out the Rabambi or two dolls, whichever they prefer. We'll see. I'm going to take out the Rabambi. Now, Cutie Flies only have 30 HP, which is sad. So sad. We need to put the doll into the active. So we've got Cutie Fly, but I cannot put the Cutie Fly down yet because it could get attacked because it's only got 30 HP. So I need to go Lusamine here. And we just need to get two Sky Pillars back. And then... I've got two Lucimine in the discard pile on my pal pad. Go here. And then... I should have got Lucimine and another Lucimine. It's fine, though. It's fine. I can't put the Cutie Fly down yet. Because it'll go down. We have to try and flip Wonder's Gift. No. Wonder's Gift. No. Sad. Go here. I could go into Jirachi. I believe there's one more Lusamine left, potentially in the deck. We'll take a look at that next turn, potentially. But I do also need to get my Rabambis back. See if there's a Rabambi left in the deck as well. So let's just go ahead and pass here. We'll see what they end up doing. If they play another Swell, then we're in pretty rough water here. But thus is the way of playing a control deck. You're trying to figure out what sort of resources your opponent has at their disposal. We said at the beginning, Chaotic Swell, really tough to play around when your opponent can snipe your bench every single turn. We have to set up 
another cutie fly. So it looks like they're just going to take out a Florges here. They've got the Eldegoss. They're going to go into the deck, use Gust, take out a Florges, probably put 30 more damage onto a Lily's Polka Doll. Yeah, which is tough. We've got a Flababy in our hand, so we definitely want to get the Ordinary Rod back into our deck if we have it. If we have it. I have to see if the Ordinary Rod is in deck still or if it's prized. Now, it looks like, thankfully, they do not have another Swell this turn, so that's good, and they're going to take another Doll out with them, which is really strong turn for them. Let's just go up with a Doll. And then I've got Rabambi. That's good news. So we can bench the Cutie Flyer. We're going to go here. And then got the Cutie Fly. I think I just Stevens Resolve. See, let's see. Can we put... We missed that. Bench. This. Hopefully they don't have Boss's Orders again. And we go Stevens Resolve. And see, I do have a Floridus left in the deck. And a Loose Meat. So I think we just grab all of these. Leave one card left in my deck. The top deck. And then hope that they do not... Yes. That's fine. We're going to grab those. This is like the perfect cards for us to have. we got Rare Candy into Floridus. We've got another Rabambi right here. And... Fingers crossed. They do not boss his orders again. Now, they did just have to use the Eldegoss to boss his orders this last turn. So they might be looking to float up in order to be able to put the boss's orders back into their hands. So sure enough, that's what they have to do. It's fine. We promote the Polka Doll. And then we can prevent boss's orders now because we've got this. And we go Rabambi. Rare Candy. I've drawn out the last card of my deck, though, which is tough. Admittedly, that is tough. All right. So we go here. We've got that. Got Rare Candy here. But we've got all the cards in our hand that we do need, which is nice. So we go. Let's see, do they, they do play Fion, though, as well. So... See, if I flip heads on no, I know they play Fion. And at this point, they have two prizes remaining. That's fine. I can afford to give them, if they Fion, I can afford to give them one card. So, yeah, we're going to go Belelba and Bryson Man. Surge, Belelba, yep. Discard the top three. Hope we hit Fion. We hit Ordinary Rod. That's actually insanely good. And then... We'll flip on this first one to see if we put the Polka Doll back. We do. It's really good because then I don't need to use Will. Um, or I could just do it. Will, guarantee it. I think we just flip again. And then I'm just going to loose a mean some cards back to our hand. All right. So then we loose a mean. And we have to put, I think, a Jirachi down. That way, if they do use Fion, we'll put the Cutie Fly down. It's a fine pivot. Okay. And then we loose mean. We loose mean back for loose mean and Belelba. Loose mean and surge. That's fine. I like that. We just pass. And that way we should be able to kind of just wrangle this in with one card left in deck between the wills and all of that. They probably, if they have another Swell in their deck, I mean, we're in a pretty tough spot. I mean, a lot of these lists are only playing one Swell. We knew the Fion was going to be a thing, so that's why we put the Cutie Fly down to sacrifice the Cutie Fly. And we know we're top decking Doll, but this is cool here because now I'm going to get to play with two Dolls and play again, which is exactly what I wanted. And we knew that, you know, they were going to have that option to go to one prize, it's fine, so long as they don't have some way to kind of forcibly take a final prize. So here we go. We've got Will in our hands, so we can guarantee it. We go Wondrous Gift, right? Flip Tails, so now we go Surge. We 
leucamine, the leucamine back for, that doesn't even really matter. No, I really think it's just like, yeah, if you surge leucamine and you get back surge leucamine, it's like, what was the point? Uh, I don't think there was one. So we're just gonna get those back. Yeah, and we're just gonna use the will. Will guarantee this flip ahead so that we do not deck out. And we're gonna put the doll on top of our deck. And then all I need to do next turn, now that I have Surge and Lusamine in my hand, uh, I can kind of just force that top deck to be a doll every single turn because I can go Surge, Lusamine, Lusamine for Surge, Lusamine, and then Will. Well, no, I, I can't. Not every single turn. There's going to be like every other turn or so, I am going to have to take that 75% chance. So eventually we really want to hit a double heads. Um, if we can hit a double heads, that makes it so that then only ever every like three turns or so, I would have to hit it. And then once we kind of get ourselves into a more confident state where maybe we have a couple of dolls on top of our deck and uh, maybe I've hit a few heads in a row, then we can start making you know more aggressive plays with Bell Elba and Bryson Man. But at this point, I think we have got it uh, under control. I don't want to speak too soon, but uh, let's see here. So we're going to see if we flip the heads. We do not. So now I need to guarantee a heads flip. So I go Surge and we go Lusamine. And this is where it gets bad because I have to go Lusamine and Will, right? And this gets bad if like, obviously I guarantee the flip here with Will, but then I need to flip ahead this next time, right? We've gotten too many, you know, this next time I'm flying without a safety net. Now we had the safety net those last two turns, but this next time I have two Florages. I have to flip it 75% of the time. Uh, we're going to get it because I'm just going to have to Lusamine for Will back. I do not have the Surge available to me this turn. So we're just going to have to Lusamine for the Will back. We Lusamine for Lusamine Will. Uh, then we can, uh, you know, Lusamine or Lusamine, I think for Surge Lusamine is the combo because then I can pivot to a bunch of different routes from there. But I do have just to take this 75% chance to flip heads on the floor. Just you really want to set up Three Florages, three gives you so much more wiggle room here, but obviously that was not a uh, option for us. So let's just get it over with. Here we go, Wondrous Gift Tales and Wondrous Gift. So it's a heads, all right. We're in there, let's go. It's uh, a nail biter for, for sure. Woo, that was close. Uh, so now we get the loose mean and we get Surge loose mean back from the discard pile. And with those two cards back, now I can guaranteed will next turn. So I've got another option to be able to play out, which is really good for us. But uh, ideally, we just flip like double heads next turn, and then I can lose a mean for Belelba, and we can start to uh, you know attack our opponent's resources a little bit because I know they have Eldegoss, the Eldegoss you know, can shuffle itself back into the deck. I know they have also got the Fion. Eventually, I will have to mill the Fion, right, in order to get it out of the deck, which is one of the very essential reasons that we do have Belelba and Bryson Man available to us. Let's go Wondrous Gift. Got a heads, good. That uh, feels great. So this is a Lusamine turn, and we'll go for it again. Tails, that's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Just go the doll down. And we get to loose mean for loose mean will. And now we're like pretty fully protected. Excellent. And pass. We've got the doll on the top. Next turn, we can go, you know, surge, loose mean will. We could play all three of them, or we could just will. I know. Hopefully, uh, we just get a heads on wondrous gift and then. We've got a lot more flexibility. We can just loose mean on turns where you get that first 50%. Uh, you're really, you know, flying pretty high. Now we are going to get Marnie here, so my opponent's going to put a lot more cards left, you know, back into their deck, which is fine though. Our deck is so small at this point, and I've got Steven's Resolve still in the deck, and you know, obviously we get Marnie into the doll since we stacked it. That uh, we don't terribly have to worry about. Um, 
you know, getting a dead hand off of Marnie's at this point. We got the Lucimine back. That was really good. And we got the Will. So we really do like that. We're going to put that down. And yeah, let's just see if we hit this. If we do, then we stack the other. So we have to Will here, I think. And we stack the doll. Get that. Heads. Guarantee the stack. Yup. And then next turn, you know, we're on to having to just Lucimine again, get some stuff back. We do have the Surge in our discard pile and the Belelba in our discard pile. So we can go Lucimine and start getting, you know, those dudes back from the discard. My opponent has asserted that they are here for the long haul, though. They're gonna they're gonna figure their out their way out of this. Surely they're thinking that the lock will break. And I am dead set on no, this lock, this lock ain't going nowhere. We are not breaking. We got it. 100 percent So Doll is gonna come up into the active. They keep sniping the doll. They're like, oh. Alright, doll off the top. We need one of these to be a heads. Great. We're flying without a safety net there. So we did need that. Wondrous gift as well. Double heads. Great. So we've got some wiggle room there. That was the turn we needed for sure. We're going to get this and we're going to get the will back from the discard pile. Now I do not, you know, need to flip heads for the next couple of turns. I can be a little bit more patient about it. Um, we've got two dolls guaranteed stacked on the top of our deck. If they Marnie us, they're going to Marnie us just into those cards. So we know we have those. And now I just get to lose some meaning, kind of bring those resources back again and again and again. Here goes the doll. We've got the doll off the top. And I'm just going to do my flips first just to see kind of what we're rocking with here. And we got one. Great. So now we're kind of still ahead. And I'll just Lucamine and get the Lucamine and the Surge back from the discard pile. Lucamine and the Surge seems fine. Just get double Lucamine. That's okay. Cool. I like that. Next turn, just Lucamine again. Get probably Surge, Belelba are like the final two that I want. So we got one more turn of using Lucamine, and I know I could just guarantee use Lucamine. I do not need to use Will because of the fact that we've got two dolls on top of the deck. Now we're top decking one, and we still got one in the hopper, and I got a 75% chance of stacking another one. So we'll go with the Wondrous Gift, get that other one back on top of the deck. Amazing there. And then we put the doll down, and I don't even need to flip this other one. We just Lucamine, go get ourselves the Belelba and the Surge. And then we just are going to pass it. We've got another doll coming. Both of them, all four of our dolls, right? Yeah, all four of our dolls are just accounted for. My opponent's got 13 cards left in deck. And at this point, um, I don't actually even want to surge. We want to wait until I've got no dolls on top of the deck in order to surge uh, or in order to Belelba. So we want to just kind of wait until the flips don't go our way. And we know we've got like one doll on top of the deck. So that's a double tails turn. It's fine. I've now I've got one more doll on top of the deck. So we're going to go here. We're going to lose mean. And we're just going to lose mean and get one more card back. Just Steven's Resolve, something like that. Just so that we have some good stuff available to us. And then next turn, we're going to top deck our final doll that is on the top of the deck. And we're going to do the Surge, Bell Elba, and kind of attack our opponent's resources a little bit. And then we'll see if I flip a first heads here on the floor, just then I do not need to will, but we're going to do the surge bell elbow first. And we are going to get to the points where now we have no cards left in the deck, right? It's fine. And we hit the Fion. That was big. That's huge, huge hitting that Fion there. That's like really big for us. Then we're going to go for the first wondrous gift flip. And we got heads. So now this turn, I do not need to use the will. We've got the polka doll. And we just go for this other one. And we've got double heads, double dolls back. Insane, insane. And we get to Lucamine. And we're just going to Lucamine and go get probably double Lucamine back from the discard. Lucamine Surge seems good. And we're chilling. Two cards left in deck, both dolls. And I think at this point, we're starting to feel like we've got 
checkmate established. You never know, though. They could just whip out the random chaotic swell, which would certainly make things a little bit stressful. But a lot of Dragapult lists are just playing one chaotic swell. So we did make our way through that, made our way through the chaotic swell and the one Marshadow. That is really challenging for us to do. So that was uh, that was big. All right, we're going to try, let's see, first... Yes, first we're going to try this one. If it flips ahead, then we don't need to will. We do need to will this turn, so we're going to go Surge. And actually, we just will. Yeah, we just will. Yep. And then we guarantee the heads flip here. And then next turn, you know, if we need to... Ah, I forgot I had two cards left in deck. That's fine. So... I had two dolls. That's right. I'm not. I'm not close to decking out. I've got two dolls left. So I did not need to. Didn't need to will that turn. But it's really no harm, no foul. I'm just kind of keeping myself safe here as we march towards my opponent's final six cards left in deck. Ten minutes left to win the game. Plenty of time. Uh, they could have another Marnie, which you know would be a little bit disruptive. But at this point, we've thinned the deck down to only the essentials. So this turn, I'm guaranteed to use Lucamine because I've got a doll left in the deck. So we're just gonna flip both of these. And double tails is fine. We're just going to Lucamine, get ourselves the probably Lucamine and the Will back so that we have that combo guaranteed. And then we just pass with one doll left in deck. And six cards left. They are nearing the end. I've got the Belelba in my discard pile. I could surge Lucamine, Belelba. If we get to the final three at this point, all I have to do is keep these dolls just chugging along here. And the Will, as you've seen, the Will is kind of the key components to making sure that our safety net does not fall out. There are only, you know, very few turns where you actually have to fly without a safety net. You know, we got the will here, so we're just going to go ahead and play that will guarantee the doll back. And then next turn, if I flip another, um, you know, tails for my first Floridus, then that means that I can go surge Lucamine will. All right, we only play two will in the deck. I prized my other one. So in order to play will back-to-back -back turns, I have to will, and then I have to surge Lucamine will, uh, which is fine, but that is just what we have to do since we prized our other will this game. But we're hoping that this first floor just here is a heads, and then I can just Lucamine for other stuff instead of getting the will back. But because this is where things start to get sketchy. All right, we've got the doll down, right? Now, I did mill the Fion. So it doesn't necessarily mean that we lose-lose if I don't get it. But we've got Surge, Lucamine, and we go get Lucamine and Will back. Then we have to play the Will. Now, this is kind of in the danger zone here because this is another thing that uh, you kind of have to look out for at this game state that I'm at right now. One, two, three, four. No, this is the perfect amount of cards to have in my hand, right? There's got to be, you got to make sure that you never get Marnied and decked out for game. So at this point, I would not get Marnied and decked out for game. Um, I would shuffle my hand and I would draw four. So I would still have like the one card on top of my deck. It looks like they are going to Eldegoss, probably for Marnie at this point. Uh, they want to make sure that, uh, that they're able to do that. So that is, uh, yeah, we're very, very, very close to getting ourselves decked out via Marnie, but not quite there. So that's fine. They're going to throw me into this next doll. I do have only... Let's see, are they going to Marnie this turn? They are going to Marnie. So they're going to Marnie, and they're going to throw the Eldegoss back into the deck. Now, in order for me to actually successfully deck them out, I need to mill the Eldegoss, which they only have you know so many cards left. But they can infinitely loop this Eldegoss, which is tough because they throw, what, 15 cards back into the deck. But if we hit the Eldegoss, then we stop that shenanigans from happening. So that is that is good for us. Now, we do have the Lucamine here, and I have to hustle. I only got eight minutes left on the clock. So we're going to go here. And this is the turn. I'm flying without a safety net. No. Yes, yes, I am. So we go Wondrous Gift. Uh, I need this one to be a heads. If it's not, then we're definitely in a really sketchy situation. Yup, it's fine. Got to do this, Lily's Poke Doll, put that back into the deck. But I do know that we did get rid of their, um, we did get rid of their Fion. So we should not have to worry too much about that. And we're just going to get Lucamine and Will back. I think, 
Yeah, that's fine. We're going to pass. And then we are definitely on the back foot at this point. But it's fine. I can retreat the Rabambi every single time because it's got that free retreat, uh, which is really good. So we get to promote that. I top deck the doll that I had from the turn previous. And now we go Wondrous Gift. And it has to be a heads. It's not. So we will. And we make this a heads now. Wondrous Gift. It's a heads. Put that thing back on top of the deck. And we hope that next turn things even out and that we get ourselves like a double... Um, we get ourselves like a double heads turn or something like that uh, with the Florgises because I do not have a safety net at this point. This is my last draw. So if I do double tails here on the Florgises, it's game over. But we're hoping that that is not the case. So let's go ahead here and see what we got. We top deck the doll. We need one of these to be a heads. There we go. First doll. Easy. Easy money. And then we go here. Wonder's Gift. Another heads, great. All right, we've got some wiggle room now. It's not fantastic, but we do have it, and we're going to Lusamine, and we're going to go get ourselves back the Surge and the Lusamine. Now, the sketchy thing is that I do not have the two dolls out, so I have to retreat into doll every single turn, which is not great. And I'm not sure if I will ever be able to Belelba. No, I can Belelba again. I will get to that point since I can just Belelba and then um, and we stack the doll. Guaranteed stack the doll at the end. They're going to go get themselves the Eldegoss though just so that they already know that they have it. And I'm just like running out of time at this, at this point. The clock is really winding down. That Eldegoss loop strategy is very, very good. So we've got this and we hope that one of these is a heads on the yes that's very good another doll on top of the deck and we flip again and that's fine no retreat now, i thought about putting a mars in the deck i think mars could be really good as well because mars would give us this option to be able to draw the dolls off the top of the deck at this point now i think that you know mars would be insane because then i would just you know, I could fix my board state, right? I don't have the two dolls down right now, which is a little bit of a pain. But if I did play Mars, I could fix it by drawing into my final two cards and then, you know, stacking, um, you know, stacking a doll back on top of the deck, which would be pretty spicy, I have to say. So let's go here. Wondrous Gift. It's fine. Heads. Yep. Chilling. Got the other doll. Wondrous Gift. Yep. Another doll. Great. Doll, retreat, and I think I go Stevens Resolve. Yeah, and get two dolls out of the deck into my hand. That way I can fix my board state. So now I will get to the point where I can, you know, surge and do it. It's kind of like doing what I wish the Mars would have, you know, would have done if we ended up putting the Mars into the deck. But now I've got these two dolls, which is insane. Six minutes left, so I do need to really hustle here, uh, especially since I know that that Eldegoss is just kind of, you know, lying in wait. So we've got this, we've got that, and we've got that. Um, I can just flip on these, and I'm not going to bother using the will this turn, because if I need to, I'll just throw one of these dolls back into the deck. It's cool though. We don't need to do that. So we're going to go here. We're going to retreat into the doll and we're just going to Lusamine and we're going to get back Lusamine and Will. Do I have the Belelba in my hand? Yes, I do. Cool. We're just going to get those and we're going to pass. That turn took a long time. Feeling like each turn is taking like a minute right now, but this next turn, okay. This next turn, I just need to surge Bell Elba, and then Lusamine for some more stuff back. Uh, looks like that's probably what we're looking at. Now, uh, looks like they might be going for the Marnie combo this turn. They've got the Eldegoss down on the bench again, so they could be trying to do that just to disrupt me a little bit, which could end up working. I would have to get put... Actually, I don't know. I think at this point I can get put into any four cards and we're probably fine. But... Uh, I'm just going to go, they're going to shuffle the Eldegoss back into the deck, and I'm going to go for the Belelba, if I can. 
which I did not draw into, but if it's one of my three top cards, we can do it. I just want to Balelba. You know, at this point, they don't have a ton of cards left in the deck, so we would have a pretty decent shot of being able to find it off of those. We've got the Balelba, so I think we just surge. Balelba. Yeah, just do it. We did not hit it. It's cool. And then we just go Lusamine, and we Lusamine back, Lusamine and Belelba. It's fine. And at this point, I'm just playing aggressively because time is becoming a thing. So double tails there really hurts, but it's fine. We're just going to go here. We're going to shuffle this one back into the deck. Put that active. Now, we have done the thing that we said we should never do. I have put myself into a situation where I would get decked out if my opponent uses Marnie this turn. So, if they have another way, which they might, if they have another way to go get themselves, you know, that Eldegoss this turn, Pokemon Communication, whatever, what have you, then that could be extremely good. So, I am, again... Kind of flying without a safety net here, but it's fine. Uh, I just really want to hit that Eldegoss, so I'm just going to Bell Elba. We did not hit it again. That is wild. And we just stack the doll. It's fine. Stack the doll. Cool. That was great. I'm going to put this other doll down. And next turn, we're going to lose some means. So I really went aggressive onto the top of their deck, just being like, okay. I need to find that Eldegoss to put it into the discard pile. It's cool at this point. I've got two dolls on top of the deck, so I'm going to Lusamine this next turn. Uh, we're going to bring the, uh, you know, we're going to bring, I think, maybe Belelba back. Uh, we have to be very careful. If they just find, if they top deck the Eldegoss, then they can, uh, they can force me into a situation. So let's just go here. Wondrous Gift. It's fine. Tails. Cool, we got dolls on top of the deck. Tails, fine, fine, fine. We're gonna go here. We got a Lusamine. We just gotta get more cards back. Surge, Lusamine. Okay, I'm still at, yeah, we're still at sketch territory here. It's fine. They just need to not top deck Eldegoss. That would be good, but I know at this point, their you know, odds of top decking Eldegoss is increasing. I've only got four minutes left, so I'm trying to like hustle at this point. We are, you know, very much worried. I need to just lose some mean again. We've got a top deck doll incoming. Uh, I don't want to surge loose mean, I don't think. Hopefully this is just a heads. It is. Great. That really alleviates a lot of pressure. So we go doll. And then I loose mean back and we get loose mean Belelba. It's fine. And now at this point, I'm out of the danger zone. I do not just lose to a rogue Marnie out of nowhere. So I think two dolls on top of the deck. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to just go Belelba this. But if we hit that Eldegoss, we know that we probably just win the game. So it's very tempting to do so. But I have you know such an advantage with two. I mill three cards. They have not used the Eldegoss. I feel like they just benched the Eldegoss if they have it. Or they would have played it at this point. So I feel like our odds of hitting it are very high. So we just go Belelba. Go for it. Yeah, I think I just go for it. Yep. We hit it. Let's go. Hit the Belelba. Now, I want to put a doll back on top of the deck. We've got it. We hit the Eldegoss, and I hit the doll there. This should just be it, unless they have a way to Marnie me again. I've got Surge, Lusamine, Belelba for game, and that is going to be an exhausting deck out. But, I mean, things could still go wrong. They Marnie me here, they win. So they do have a win condition if they have a Marnie left. But I believe... Hitting that Eldegoss there at the end of the deck, really aggressing on that. And we got there. We had the Surge Lucifine Belelba for game. That was a crazy, 
crazy crazy game there so ggs to my opponent they really pulled out all of the tricks to try and save themselves from decking out and they played the entire game out with us so uh thanks to my opponent there for being a good sport and allowing us to show off the doll stall deck so that is the doll stall deck i think in its uh in all of its glory, love it or hate it, uh, it is possible to deck your your opponent out using Florgis's wondrous gift ability in combination with dolls in standard format. Rabambi, very good to stop that uh, boss's orders from coming down on your bench Pokemon. Obviously, it can get very stressful when you start taking you know bench snipe damage into situation, but we do have Sky Pillars for that, Stealthy Hoods to help prevent ping damage from Pokemon like Zigzagoon uh, or Ghost Effects from, you know, your Nine Tails, Nine Temptation, things like that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out FullGripGames.com for all your trading card game singles, as well as FullGripCodes.com for instant PTCGO code delivery.